And I would like to welcome one and welcome all to Gunpoint. Today's going to be the last episode. There's one thing I want to note. You can't buy bullets in this version. Either way... <sighs> it's inadmissible, isn't it? Yeah, this is actually what you can say to the cop if you do get caught on camera in the room. You can say, Good luck catching me with inadmissible evidence. So we're going to go with developer's commentary because... It, oh, I remember there being a window here, but it, there isn't anyone this episode. This level was actually an early on level, and I would expect that Tom Francis would be here to help us to clarify that, but... Nope, he's not here. The idea is you take care of the camera and shut him on to other circuits. Hushcracker can really help get you the blue box early. Because the whole thing is just getting to the blue box, really. And the yellow box. <sighs> oh! Shit. Shit. I didn't want to call the elevator. What's the objective? Hacking the laptops. Let's not try and be stealthy, or we don't have to be. Ah, he's really quick with that gun of his. I'll always remember Mardi Gras. I'll always remember Mardi Gras. Why? Statement have to do with anything. I always remember my Dugrois. Oh, that was me. <laughs> I thought the elevator was just too being silly. But it wasn't being silly, it was just being an elevator. Yeah, there's nothing suspicious about being able to access a room you didn't access before. <laughs> oh, I got just one. I thought it was a laptop, but it was violence. From who? I like how it gives you the option between whom and who. This game... I picked whom and the other one, but whatever. Cut to the chase.
I mean, marriage has its rough matches. <laughs> Truth. I'm not gonna let an innocent person take the fall. This level, by the way, is appears to be exactly the same as uh, it is if you don't go with it. Anyway, we got a few more dev commentaries coming up. What's the objective? No bonuses. Really just get the job done, fella. I'm not gonna give me all those batteries for some reason. Could I shoot someone else? Nope, there's no guards on the equal floor, so I can't take care of anyone that way. Could have dropped him down, but he probably just died from the fall. Can I guard us that? That's an enforcer, yep. Don't want him messing in my business room. Actually, I do want him in that room over there for the time being. And once I get him walking, I can. Oh, yeah. doesn't go down for some reason. Good! Good job, Mr. Guard! Just, just fantastic. I should say thanks to Derek Yu, who made Spelunky, and Joachim Sandberg, who's working on the beautiful Iconoclasts at the moment. I learned a ton from their work in tutorials, and if you have any interest in pixel art, you should too. You can find them on Twitter as Mossmouth and Konjak. Oh, so we're doing thank yous? Okay. Because I was only working on gunpoint in my spare time, I had to be ruthless about cutting things to get it done. And probably the hardest call I had to make was scrapping how this level was going to end. If you sided with Rook, then Jackson would be there trying to upload the recording, and if you sided with Jackson, Rook would be there trying to delete it. And I wanted to let you knock them out, kill them, or threaten them at gunpoint and talk them out of it. But when I discovered what an insane amount of work these semi-interactive scripted sequences are, uh, I realised I can only afford to do one of them, and the final confrontation with Gessler was much more important. I like a lot of stuff I cut from the plan, now that it's gone, I don't really miss it. I guess it was a bit just showboating, if anything. doesn't help. Some things you can't help, you know. I don't actually need to do anything with that guy, so let's just go on through. That's an enforcer. I think that used to be a professional. So it's nice to see they change that around, because the professional... 
didn't add anything. That guy's not running a company, he's running Devil's Advocate. Yeah, I know I could wire him up to die, but, you know... I don't really need this guy out of the picture. Actually... Really? That doesn't count? I hoped it would count. Okay, so that doesn't count for some reason. Whatever! I was hoping I could have an achievement, but I can't. So let's go! Go on through. Lot of noise! Yay! I set something that doesn't exist on fire. Three upgrades short, truly. I think we need, yeah, we need the Great Crush and the Revolver because of a certain scene that's going to take place there. Oh, he doesn't talk anymore! By the way, if you do happen to side with Rook, there will be a guy over here who will come after you. Uh, what all he does really is jump into you and you fall down and you have to click to punch him. It's a nice scene, but eh. This level and the gate crashes you can finally afford are obviously a nod to Half-Life 2 Super Gravity Gun, a massive step up in your abilities that renders previously challenging things trivial. The first two floors are intentionally easy, I wanted you to literally kick in the front door and just smash through a few situations that would normally be tough. Further up of course you get harder obstacles, and there's one puzzle where you need to intentionally close a door to get through it, to block an enemy's line of fire and then kick a door into him. Damn. I'm Skippy! I don't, I'm not getting any achievements, so I probably happen to have a... Oh god, I'm suffering from that steam bug. Fuck, I hate it when that bug kicks in. So, I can't load any achievements whatsoever. Okay, so, like I mentioned before, when I was talking about Dig, uh, there are two tracks that are similar that have to do when you're investigating Intex, and this is the second one called Leviathan, uh, and it occurs later in the story when the player has more knowledge about what Intex's motives are and what they're really up to. So, you might have noticed it starts out the same way Dig did, but then about yeah. a third of the way through it takes a much darker turn uh, than the first track. That sax solo isn't there, that you got some... Strings doing a really slow, I was trying to get a really slow kind of menacing glissando. Uh, so I thought it was a fun way to tie into what's happening in the story, because I'm a huge fan of when the music isn't just kind of reflecting the story, but actually gets to kind of interact with it and be a part of it. Uh, so now that you know the truth, as the player, you can see and hear stuff you couldn't before. So even that it starts out the same way the first in-text track did, uh, it reveals itself to be something different partway through. And it was Tom's idea to do two tracks that started out the same way, and then have them diverge depending what point in the story you're in. So, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. I'm so upset that Steam achievements aren't working, because that means I get to play through this game again, for some reason. Anyway, go to the store. Fuck that guy. Never liked him. Oh wait, I can't activate that because I can't. Oh wait, that's a yellow one. I can't do that either. How do 
I even get there? Could theoretically go out there. Could I jump through that third floor window? Cheesing it! I love cheesing it. Cheesing it's the best. There's a laptop over there. It's not really something I can work with, is it? I can open that, but... I can't get there fast enough. I really want that laptop. In case the message doesn't get across. There's, is there any way I can activate a blue to begin with? Is there anything here that activates blue? There's that guy's gun, but that's it. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? I need to get that guy to shoot. Oh no, there's a blue... But the thing only opens for a little bit, so... What? Oh, there's a sound detector, so I could trip a... <sighs> there's no... It's the only sound detector here, so... There's not much I can do. I need... Uh, what do I need? I really... I just, I'm just gonna go on. Let's say we're done for now, and we're gonna move on. Love the soundtrack, Ryan. If that's your name. I think it is. Should be. If it isn't, congratulations on changing your name. So this one I cheesed, but I like cheesing this one because it's something you can cheese. You just take them out one by one, back to back. You said, oh you get to close the doors. I don't like closing the doors because I have no idea how you get over these guys. Or you could just follow them and go up one of the walls. I prefer this. Because it, it does the same thing, right? Like, see, you gotta use the elevator to do this. Here's why the red switch is there. You hook up that to that. Hook up that to that. I just noticed. Did it just bing the elevator or something? Because that thing just opened. Oh, so it detects an alarm from any floor. I think I gotta turn around. And the best way to do that is to click on the light switch. Most people get a bit iffy when the lights go off, if I remember right now. He's not getting iffy. I get 60 seconds delay, are you fucking shitting me? This guy needs to go down, but I can't sum I can't rely on Death Fluke for this one. What I can do is I can make a misfire. So, at least the door doesn't kill you. <laughs> Get the sound detector hook up to that. Oh, I love this. There's a light switch on his desk to open it up. I know how to talk to Tom about this, though. So do we have everything linked up? Uh, we need to link this one up to this. There's no greens.
There are eight different ways of dealing with Gessler, and an achievement for each one of them. Making a character who behaved like an enemy in some circumstances, but would stop and talk to you in others, was far more work than I realised, so I really wanted to have fun with the freedom that it allows. So you can knock him out, you can beat him to death, you can shoot him, you can rewire his gun so he can't fire, you can knock him out of the window so he falls to his death, if you've killed someone you can talk him into surrendering at gunpoint, you can push him into the doorway and knock him out with his own door, or you can disconnect his door bash switch and use the gate crashes to kick the door into him. I wanted to make sure that whatever your favourite way of taking out guards was, there was a way to end the game by doing that. There are eight different ways of dealing with Gessler, and an achievement for each one of them. Making a character who behaved like an enemy in some circumstances, but would stop and talk to you in others, was far more work than I realised, so I really wanted to have fun with the freedom that it allows. So you can knock him out, you can beat him to death, you can shoot him, you can rewire his gun so he can't fire, you can knock him out of the window so he falls to his death, if you've killed someone you can talk him into surrendering at gunpoint, you can push him into the doorway and knock him out with his own door, or you can disconnect his door bash switch and use the gate crashes to kick the door into him. I wanted to make sure that whatever your favourite way of taking out guards was, there was a way to end the game by doing that. That's cute. Uh, manual save. I just wanted to see if he actually uses that door thing, and he does, apparently. There's one thing I just remembered, and I really want to try this out. Can you actually just leave? Yes, you can't! Because you could in the prototype, and that fucking sucked. Supposed to be connected to that, but you know. Yeah, because people will do that and they get really pissed off, which was sort of my case. So what do I want to do? I don't want to take care of Gessler, the man I just really don't like. You know what? I'm gonna throw him out the fucking window. Because that's my style, baby. I love the defenestration. After all, I am super defenestration man with the power to knock people through windows. Why not use that superpower for the greater good? Actually, I'm first I'm gonna gate crash him. Because Ace! What the hell? Why doesn't that work? Ooh, sneaky son of a bitch. But how does that knock him out? Oh, I see. How do I knock him out? I want to knock him through the window. So that was Gunpoint. I hope you had fun, and thanks for playing. Also, thanks to Tom for taking a chance and letting a random internet person help out on your project. It's been great fun. Yeah, you can do that. Anyway, let's take care of him in the old-fashioned way. Oh wait, I just figured how you could actually knock him through the window. Oh, he gets up quick! Ah, you asshole! See ya! Words by Tom Francis. Fan omelet. Cancel post. Compose new blog post. Oh God. Hehehe. <laughs> Thank you.
I wanted to say justice, but DAMN kicking down duels is cool. It totally just did that. It totally just did that. I'm hot! I'm smelting, melting, 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 but I really wonder now... How will I ever get the other one? Do I need, really need to restart for that? So every mission has like a different amount of cool. I don't know. I don't really care. Oh, you can just right-click. I've learned a lot this episode. I've learned about men. I've learned about life. Quite amazing that he made one of these, actually. Now, I know this won't work. Because, uh, that's just the way things are sometimes. That's just all this game was, really. It was one experience. By the way, you can look in the description to find that blog post, which is actually online now. I'm confused. I really wonder what now, because... I, I can't do anything else now. I can't play the other mission, so to speak, but I guess it doesn't really matter other than the achievements. Now I'm out of money. Let's kick in some doors. Doesn't really matter, does it? I want to kick in some doors and the people, preferably. Still no doors. Jesus Christ! Can I kick in this door? Hey, you want to talk about it? Uh, I, I, I want to. <laughs> I think this is just the perfect way to end this. I like how this has a timer. First, this one. Oh, by the way, I want to show off the police sniper. So when you run out of time, this guy shows up. And he can kill you quite well. He's quite the expert at shooting people. Just like I am. Although I'm an expert in shooting people for another reason.
He didn't load properly. <laughs> but I guess that's how things go sometimes. Uh, I'm out of guns, out of bullets. I guess that's how things go sometimes. <laughs> Dumb game. <laughs> this is such a dumb game when you start playing with the stuff you have. I like how you don't get any bullets. Can I buy bullets, or am I just literally out forever? This kind of permanence isn't fun, by the way. Can I just do that, and I get all the guns back? Nope! This game's a twat. Welp. That's how things, like I said. This level is sort of your reward for, um... Having gone through the previous four, <laughs> I'm sorry I had to spend four levels like being really restrictive and simplistic and straightforward, and in 